Kelly Style, your State Farm Insurance agent in Oskaloosa, is excited to be serving the Mahaska County community and the surrounding area. See Kelly at 309 High Avenue E, Oskaloosa, or call 641-673-0088. White Clover provides nitrogen and weed control for corn. This cropping system benefits both soil and net profitability on Successful Farming Radio. Successful Farming Radio, providing information farmers need in the field, in the shop, and in the office. Committed to growing your business in agriculture. Successful Farming presents the 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast. In each episode, a successful farming editor has a quick conversation with a farmer, chock full of stories and advice from their area of agriculture. They're interesting, educational, and perfect for your busy schedule. Search for 15 Minutes with a Farmer wherever you download your podcasts. Any age, any make, any model. Any way you look at it, you can get the right part at the right price by stopping by the one parts counter at your local John Deere dealership. Whether you need to replace a worn part or just need to stock up on maintenance and replacement parts, you can find it all at the one parts counter. Knowledgeable, friendly staff will help you choose from genuine John Deere, Reman, or A&I parts. Do yourself and your machine a favor. Stop by the one parts counter today at your local John Deere dealership. Researchers at the University of Georgia are using white clover to suppress weeds and provide nitrogen for corn crops. The warm southern climate allows the clover to become a year-round living mulch. Agronomist Nick Hill says they spray strips of herbicide into the clover to create dead zones where the corn will be planted. As the corn grows over the summer, it shades the clover. The clover responds by dropping its leaves, which releases nitrogen into the soil and then grows back after the corn harvest. But at the end of the summer, there's still enough clover that's living there so that when it goes through its growth habit, it doesn't just fill in the areas where it's been shaded, but it also grows across the dead zones that we had created by spraying in the spring, and it reestablishes a carpet of white clover all over again. So the growth habit of the white clover is really the key to our success here. He says they've seen a 15% reduction in corn yield, but the inputs needed are far less. We don't have to worry about weeds where the clover is actively growing. It's only in those dead zones where we're planting our corn that we have to apply herbicides. So our herbicide use is about a quarter of what it would be normally. So 75% reduction in herbicide use, about an 80% reduction in nitrogen fertilizer. Those are tremendous savings. Hill says this method requires a good deal of crop management and they're learning as they go. I'm Jody Henke. Learn more about using clover as a living mulch for corn at agriculture.com.